lot of lot of bag eh? six o'clock in the morning and the uh, Nepal adventure begins I'm just walking into terminal one of the airport after getting off the extra bus and now we're just gonna take a look at the sign and see when and where and which where do I go Okay, so I just arrived in Istanbul. Now I have to try to find a gate for uh, Kathmandu. So I think we're a little bit behind, but uh, my flight's not till eight o'clock and it's a little bit, it's about 10 past six, so we'll see. So here's what it looks like in Istanbul. There's quite a long taxi, you know. So we'll go see what the departure sign here says. See which gate I have to go to. It's a very modern building. Quite a big country when they're flying in, looking at all the buildings and that. So, we are looking for Kathmandu. Kathmandu, there it is. 20, 20, 20, 35. Uh, Kapi, Biskisi, Kathmandu. 705, is that when it opens up? Or is that arriving at? Okay, gate info at, okay, so we're getting the eight gate info at 7.05. Now, there seems to be lots of different gates that you can go to, and I think I don't, I'm not gonna find out where to go until 7.05. So it's about quarter past six right now. So just see what it looks like. It's quite a large facility. Oh, oh, see if I can find it. Okay, so I got a text message on my phone saying it was going to be at B17, which is right here. It was quite a fair walk from one end of the town, to, uh, one of the uh, terminal to the other. I was at B1, and actually it was even uh, way at the other end, so it's quite a fair walk to her. They haven't posted up the number of the that uh, the gate is yet. But I'm assuming it's going to be here. And if you look around here, 
there's a few people with the uh, toppies, with Nepali toppies, so I'm assuming that's it. So what I just tried to get my hands at is, I got a quick beer. It's a Turkish beer. I'm gonna give it a shot. Now, I don't know how much it's gonna cost. My card actually worked, even though I had it set up for, uh, for Nepal from today onwards, so maybe they recognize that I'm transit. But it was 345. So I don't know. We'll see what that uh, equates to in uh, in euros in a little bit. Maybe I'll put it up there in the video what it actually is. But it's uh, 345. But I'm just thirsty, so I figure I'd give it a shot. Okay, so I have the beer poured. So here's the beer itself. And let's see the alcohol content. No, I don't really know what it is. It's a very light beer though. Here's, the, here's it in the glass, I'll give it a shot. It's very light. It reminds me of a, a moosehead lager that I had back in Canada in the East Coast. Something to that effect. So it's not bad. For only 345. Just a follow up on that, uh, I went into my uh, converter. I almost had a heart attack because I put in uh, Turkish dinar, <laughs> 3.45, and I came to 106 euros. But no, 3.45 ends up being 11.95. There it is there. It's still dear. There's a 57 euro, 57.5 uh, um, Fee onto it at 20%. So, anyways, 11.95 is probably a very expensive beer, so I better enjoy it. But it's a hell of a lot better than 100 and some euros. So I got a pillow. They gave us a nice blanket. So the it's a bigger plane, as you can see. And we'll be able to watch some films and maybe get some sleep. Okay, so when you first come in the, air, in the airport, you have to come with this collection area, but don't forget to uh, scan this, bar, uh, this code, because you have to fill out the visa online, because I went to the top of the line and then I had to go get it, so make sure that you do that. It'll save you probably about a half an hour. Okay, so I got the uh, visa finally. Now, just to make sure, I did it the first time I went to the thing, I needed to fill out the form. I didn't know I had to have it done prior, so, Oh. Oops, you okay? And then the second time I did it on my phone with the QR code, the um, the pass my passport number I put a small p instead of a uh, small u instead of a, a capital, so that kicked it out. 
And then, so anyways, long story short, fill out the form ahead of time. Other than that, it was fine. <laughs> okay, so now we're waiting to hopefully find our luggage and uh, get out. Okay, so finally found my bag. So we got everything sorted. It took a little longer than I wanted to, but uh, if you have patience and not get frustrated, you know, they try to help you and that, it's just, plus with being fatigued, if not sleeping for properly for two days, it's not that bad. So we got there in the end. Now we get to leave through here. So as I'm walking out to the front, I'm gonna tell you about the journey. So 3.30, I took the bus on Sunday morning. Got in at 6.10 in Dublin Airport. Uh, then I had my plane at 10.50, very smooth. Got to uh, Istanbul, was there for about three hours a bit, very smooth. Um, got in here this morning at 6.10 on Sunday morning. Very good, no, uh, no real issues, except for the visa. Just, it wasn't a problem, it's just logistics. It's a logistics thing, you know, like, but it's not that bad. I uh, just have patience and that. But the good thing is when you finish that, they run you through the customs and they run you, your bags is sitting there. So that's not a big deal, so. Okay, so this is leaving the uh, airport. Now we have to find, there he is, Agendra. Namaste. It's a nice man. Nice Okay. Okay, I'll beat you around the side there. So this is the first sights of Nepal outside the burger house and crunchy fried chicken. So your man took my bag backpack. So I just have my other backpack I'm carrying. It's been a long day. Oh, that was nice, uh, to, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. That was tough with the uh, with the visa. The first time I went up in line, I thought I'd just get it there. Yeah. Then they said, "No, you have to fill out the form online." So I did the QR code. Yeah. Waited in line again. Went up to the front. My passport number. It was P U something. Like that, but I put it's supposed to be capital P capital U. Yeah. So then they kicked it out. So then I had to go try the machine. So our oh. boss, our boss, he's coming. Yeah. So we are going to together. Yeah. We yeah, are yeah. going to have tunnel. That's my bag there. Yeah. 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 That's my bag there. Yeah. Oh, you big boss. Very good morning. Namaskar. Welcome to in Nepal. Namaskar. How are you? Very good. Very good. Uh, so we are very glad. Yes. As the you landed at Kathmandu. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Huh? No, okay, it's the welcome oh. to in Nepal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. As the have a wonderful time in Nepal. Photo, you want to do? Are you are you wrong for it? I have to touch it. It's it's on. No, no, just touch the back. Touch the back screen. See? There we go. And we found it. After running around, it's hard to find the streets. There is no streets, and the traffic is kind of mental. Just say it is. Oh, here it is. There. That's easy to see. See? <laughs> so here's the homestay that I'll be staying at for the next two nights, and then when I come back from the trek for a couple nights, so let's work here, say, and then see what's like. Okay. Yep. Take your boots off. Yep. Okay, so I'm just walking uh, down from the homestay. I'm just trying to get my bearings. And also, good man here, Agenda, is going to take me to get a cash exchange. So that, because right now I have no rupees, so I have to give some money for the uh, homestay. Oh, they won't hit me, I'm too big. Look at the wires. 
way. <laughs> the wire's up there. So you are welcome, man. Eh? Reminds me of a, a pub in uh, my area. Billy Kelly's. Thomas has some wires in the back of his TV that looks almost like that. So that's very nice. Building site. So this is we're right in the thick of the tunnel. It wasn't a far walk from my place, but maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. And you can see there's all sorts of shops. A lot of hiking stuff. And there's the hippie clothes. A lot of art. Hi sir, namaste. Namaste. Very good, very good. Ramro. I have to get one of the daughters one of those bags. She likes those types of bags, so I'll get that in a couple weeks. Yeah. Because if you, if you want to buy something, yeah, so you can tell me before buy. Yeah. Some places you can get half like a break. Yeah, they try to jack the price up. And, uh, yeah. Very 
very good. That's what they all were on there. And it was the same in the airport. Get some money change, I'll turn it back. Chicken, sir? Some beans. Buff, sir? Buff, buff, dal, 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 buff, one is the quality of the sign in. What is this? Okay, I love it. Buff, you live in the area? Buff, dal, 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 buff, sir? Buff, sir, then you live chicken, mama, and then you keep. What do you want to drink? Uh, yeah, lemonade? Lemon iced tea? Lemon iced tea. Lemon iced tea, what's it? Uh, uh, chicken momo? And then you want dabat? Yeah. What about drink? What do you want? I'm um, drink Coca Cola, sir. I'm going to get the lid in. Uh, I want to go drink uh, Coca Cola. You want a Coca Cola? Okay, so we'll just order that, we'll wait till it comes and I'll let well, you see what it looks like when it arrives. So there's Magenda's Dalbat, it's here. I'm just waiting for the momos to come and see what that's like and then we'll get stuck in. Here's the uh, first momos of the Nepal trip. Give it a shot, see if it's hot. Very good. How's your dog Good? Very delicious. Good? <clears throat> yep. Very good. Finish this off. Well, mine's finished. The dinner didn't do as good job. He still has some left over. But, you know, he's finished as well. So now we have to just go and look for an anisim for my bone. And then go back to the uh, homestay and then probably get settled in and relax and take it easy for a bit. Maybe get a, a nap for about an hour. Let's go. Okay, so the uh, the iced tea, the Coke, the Dalbat, and then the momos, the chicken momos, came to 850 uh, rupees. I'll put that in the link how much it is in uh, US and Euros there for you. That way, give you an idea of how much it costs for two meals, and I'm full anyways. So now we just quest for a SIM card. Heading back, no, no, it's okay. Just heading back towards uh, the hostel or the uh, homestay. Just wanted to show you the chaotic traffic and the bikes. Look at the amount of bikes. This is 11 o'clock on a Monday morning. And the walkways are still not completed yet, but just give you a feel of what kind of traffic you have. You have to watch where you're walking and buses. Oh, very interesting, definitely. Yeah. Not too much 
to open safety there. Some hard work being done there. Where is your old homestead? Somewhere around here, I guess. I'm just looking at this. I, I'm looking for a certain building that I see with the sign with the uh, flags on top. Okay. Look at the uh, wires. You are, you are in yeah, because I remember seeing this. We turned to the right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a Hindu, isn't it? Yeah, because that's Ganesh in the... That's a Hindu monastery. Actually, this, this is not a monastery. Uh, what is it? Like a temple. It's a... Like a temple? Temple? Temple, yeah. So, quickly, I'm going to give you a tour of my uh, homestay. Um, we'll take a look what it is. Here's the room. So, it's a double bed. With a plug beside it, I'm charging one of my GoPro batteries that we used today. Has a wardrobe here, which I've put, uh, you know, some clothes that I've handy, you know, some stuff I'm going to be bringing on the trek with me. And then there's a desk here, which has room for my laptop, and the plug's right over there. And then my GoPro stuff, and, and then there's the shower. So here's the shower. I just had a shower there and I did a bit of uh, laundry to keep up with it. Uh, worked really well. And there you go. And there's the, uh, the bunk gun. So that's everything you need. So it's 12 euros a night that's costing me. So I thought it's very, very reasonable. I'm going to maybe take a little quick walk around before I crash for the night. Maybe get something. We'll see. I'll see if there's anything interesting. If I do, I'll put it on there. But make sure that you uh, subscribe to me. I got a lot of ideas and content coming up for the next, you know, month while I'm in into uh, the Kathmandu and Nepal area. Uh, you know, just just make sure you hit a, the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you get notified on it. And Really tried. So I have, here's some idea of the, the places of interest I want to go to. Obviously we have Kathmandu, we have Wangtang Trek, Pokhara, Baglong and the Golden Bridge, uh, Bakako, uh, Kotang, it's in the first province. That's where Majender is from, Amway from, Kirtapur, Banatui, Bakhtapur, and whatever else I could, I could find uh, interesting for everyone. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, and I'll show you all different things that I get up to while I'm in Kathmandu and the rest of Nepal. And here's the outside of what the uh, my homestay looks like: sunshine trekking, sunshine home, and apartments.